Hello, my name is Jenia Baidralin, and this uh, series of videos will be devoted to my book uh, called Sadak Shluk, The Art of Making and Shooting the Kazakh Horsebow. But first, a uh, couple words about myself and my uh, qualifications. I am a writer, artist, illustrator, sculptor, architect, historical reconstructor, historical reenactor, and lately also historical nomadic martial arts instructor. And let's start with the books. Um, I am an author of a few books. Here we will be talking about these two books, about uh, Sadakh Shaluk, uh, The Art of Making and Shooting the Kazakh Horsebow. There are a few more available on Amazon uh, that I've written. As far as my art, uh, you can see some of it behind me, but uh, over the course of my artistic career, which is not my main career, it's kind of like, like a parallel sidetrack career, I made over a hundred of these, uh, and they're all available on Etsy. I have a shop on Etsy where uh, anyone can get digital prints of it, download them. Again, you can search under my name, it will pop up. Uh, as for historical reconstruction, I've built a few nomadic armors, uh, leather lamellar, uh, metal scale armor, and etc. And uh, I've exper experimented with building weapons, nomadic weapons. I've made a few bows, uh, lots of arrows, and I've sewn uh, traditional costumes. All of it is a reconstruction, uh, replicas based on historical evidence, on samples from museums and, uh, and, and books and catalogs, and et cetera, et cetera, depictions, archaeological archeologi evidence, and et cetera. As for my reenactment uh, career, uh, I was involved in uh, ethnic tourism for a while until the COVID hit us and kind of put it all uh, on pause. Uh, and I was performing in front of large groups of people, tourists, visitors. I was a, a team leader. I was leading a team of uh, trained uh, guys who perform all kind of nomadic uh, warfare stunts, uh, joist, uh, joisting, uh, fencing, horseback archery, and etc. And um, we did all that. Uh, we, it, it was a part uh, entertainment, part education, part experiment, because we also tested a lot of things while doing that. And that's how I became a horseback archer, by the way. Uh, I'm not a competition horseback archer because I, I rarely have done that but I can shoot off a horseback on a gallop and um, it helps tremendously with my research it helps me to draw horseback archers better uh, it helps me to understand the, the, the inner structure or, or of horseback archery and as for my latest uh, project, uh, the uh, nomadic martial arts. This is kind of interesting and exciting because I am trying to reconstruct this martial arts system. It's called the five weapons system or Beskaru in Kazakh. And uh, archery is uh, one of these, the first one, uh, the main, I would say, of five weapons. But um, uh, there are four more, and we're now working on uh, developing, on researching and developing system, training system, uh, because uh, it is not, I, 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 I'm not, uh, I, I'm trying to avoid a trap of it becoming a fake martial art, like there are many of them out there. I want this to be scientific, uh, evidence-based, historical evidence-based uh, uh, style. Uh, and I'm trying to kind of design it uh, 
in accordance with the uh, with the with the rules of the Hema movement, and Hema is uh, historical European martial arts. And uh, the coolest thing they do is that they based all their techniques on old manuals that survived. So it's not fantasy martial arts, it's factual martial arts, the closest that we could get to the way it used to be. Unfortunately, with the nomadic martial arts, it gets much trickier because we don't have... The nomads uh, didn't have writing system, didn't use it uh, as extensively as Europeans or, or Persians or Chinese, even the Turks, uh, the, even the Turkish, the Ottomans. Uh, instead, it was an oral tradition. Everything was passed from father to son, generation after generation. But then when it all got interrupted in 19th, 20th century, it just disappeared completely. No traces left of it. So we have to go in very unusual ways, using all kind of um, backwards uh, or, or, uh, techniques uh, to kind of get that information. And it, it's very tough to be working this way because you have to, it's kind of like trying to put together a shattered mirror that was shattered into million pieces and some large pieces are missing and probably will never be recovered, but we still have to uh, put the whole picture together. Anyways, that's uh, not the scope of this uh, uh, of this series, but this is a little bit about me and my qualifications. And uh, in the next chapters, I will be uh, kind of walking you through the book, uh, roughly based on the table of content. Uh, basically everything that's in the book, I will try to cover. So please uh, stay with me. I hope it will be interesting. I hope you will learn something new because the world, as of right now, uh, mo for the most part, doesn't know about Kazakh branch of Asiatic nomadic horseback archery. And uh, my goal is to kind of cover that to my best ability, and I hope you will enjoy it. So please stay with me, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.